Me on the dock under the moon. But if there isn't a moon. I'll meet you under the dock. No kidding. How about you and me going places tonight when your boat gets in? Okay? No kidding. How about you scramming so I can see some of the scenery down here? I am the scenery down here. I'm Skid Johnson, the one man army. Ask anybody. It's been delightful, Mr. Johnson. Now go away. You bother me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Honey, I didn't think you'd admit it. I'll meet you on the dock at Balboa. Hey, I'll be wearing my studies and I'll wear a carnation in my buttonhole so you know me. I wouldn't know you if you wore a rose behind your <laughs> That's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, isn't it wonderful? I love you. It's like going down an elevator. It's wonderful. I guess it is the first time. Does the traffic always smell like this? Look! Oh! I forgot all about it. Take it down quick. Oh, all you had to do was to turn off the juice as soon as the time was up. Oh, I thought you could do that, for gosh sake. Oh, <laughs> I must have been asleep. The tropics make me so languorous. Well, how does it look? I'm oh, just ducky. <laughs> what have you done to her? It's the tropics. They always do that to her. Oh, the tropics, right? <laughs> Is something the matter? No, 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 no. You don't know everything's quite all right. Quite all right, yes, I know you will, yes. Uh, you girls will both come to my cabin just as soon as you've finished. Uh, oh. I suspected it. 
I suspected it from the very first day. You're not a beauty operator at all. Are you? No, that's where you've got me. How dare you recommend her to me? Oh, now, look, boss, she's a friend of mine. She's broke. She's hitchhiking away to California. Hmm. Did she have to hitchhike on my customers' faces? Well, it was the only thing we could think of. You didn't want her to sing or anything now, did you? Certainly not. Why should I want her to sing? <clears throat> uh, do you sing? Yes, but not very good. Well, it's the only thing she does know. But there's a guy, see, in, in California who don't care if she don't know anything. He wants to marry her. <laughs> He's a, a, a cow baron or something. He's richer than Lucifer. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Lucifer wasn't rich. Oh, what was he? Well, he was, um, he, uh, what was he? Proud. Proud, proud. There, see, I told you. Don't try to change the subject. Now, if this Lucifer was so, I mean, if this man was so proud, <clears throat> I mean, uh, Rich, uh, why doesn't he send you your fare? Oh, he doesn't even know I'm coming. Uh, I thought you said he was going to marry her. No, I didn't. I said he wanted to marry oh, her. Oh, pardon me, wanted to. Uh, wanted and on that account, Maggie figured there must be something wrong with him. Yes, okay. So she's going out to look the situation well over before getting into anything. You see, she doesn't know him very well. Well, but he's known me for three years, but it, it's so hard to explain. You if Maggie were on the stage, she'd be a stage door Johnny. Oh, of course. But she, but she works in nightclubs, so we don't know what to call her. you'll get a ring, so I think he's just the same. Oh, he's yeah. just crazy about her. You're just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just crazy. Crazy, well, you're driving me crazy. <laughs> Round trip, Panama City, one dollar. How much? One dollar. You wait there, I'll grab a girlfriend. What's your son? Among most notable public buildings of Panama is Palacio del Presidente. He is built on the same site it was occupied by official residents of kings of Spain during colonial epoch. Uh, on ground floor is Moorish courtyard in the center of which are water fun in which may be seen swimming water chicken of native species. Ducks to you. Yeah, well, ducks to you, too. This isn't a palace, it's a cathedral. Must be wrong street. Must be wrong guidebook, too. Listen, wise guy, you can come out from behind that hat now. <laughs> What's the matter with the hat? I got a rose behind my ear, too. I still don't know you. Say, you know you're an awful liar. You do wear shoes and you got the prettiest... Say, do you know this guy? No, and we're tired of playing. You can stop this car right now. Now, oh, come on, be a sport. I told you I was just mustered out of the army today. I thought it'd be fun for the four of us to celebrate. Who's the four? Harry. He owns the car. We're not interested. Speak for yourself. Say, I don't know what you got to be sore about. When you hired this heap, you thought you had a native guy. So it turns out that instead of that, you got a fine, upstanding, clean-limbed American lad and his friend. Here's where he lives. Harry, I mean. You'll like Harry. And instead of showing you a lot of buildings and statues and stuff, we'll show you the real town. <laughs> you're getting a couple of guys for nothing, and you're kicking. Come on, be good guy. We'll, we'll drive around. I'll make my usual cracks, and if you laugh, I'll think I'm good. If you don't, I'll think you're dumb. What do we waste? Two hours. What's two hours? I've never heard anybody talk so much in my life. Have you ever tried to sell anything? Sure. Right now. Me. You know, if you had something good to sell, you'd be really wonderful. puts everything he's got into his piano playing. Everything? Girls, prepare yourselves. You're about to meet Harry Rankin, the hottest piano player in Panama. Well, no wonder he's hot in that overcoat. Well, I'm just recovering from an attack of chills and fever. Would you have a quinine tablet? The tropics, you know. Yeah, I know it. Do you know it? Yes, I really think you should have one. If you're for me, I've already got my pill. Well, um, Harry, this is... Uh, Ella. Ella, and that's... Uh, Marguerite. It's Maggie. Marguerite. How do you do? I'm very glad to know both of you. Hello. You should be glad to know anyone. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, let's go. Come on, front seat, Maggie. No, you better climb over that door. It doesn't work. Oh, allow me. Thank you. This is 
a real Panamanian joint. Tourists don't get out here very much. Mm. So, it's lovely. It's in your family. I think I ought to have. Oysters. Hey, you better move over here closer to me. Why? Well, you know where you are, don't you? Well? You're in the tropics. Well, I know that, silly. And it's night. Oh, it isn't either. Well, it'll be night in a minute. Hey, what are you getting at? You? Oh, stop it. If you're going to act like that, we won't have any fun at all. Well, you know, most girls like a lot of junk like this. I can be myself then, huh? Well, why wouldn't go that far if I were you? You're pretty fast with the answers, aren't you? No, they just seem fast. You see, you've been down here quite a little while, and the tropics kind of slow you down. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you want the rest of your oysters? I don't want this one. Don't you like trumpet music? No, nobody likes trumpet music. There are some monsters. Uh, those platter's punches. Do we I think they do. Look, somebody might like it, but you couldn't be very bright to like trumpet music. Well, maybe you're right. I like it. You do? Well, what you like about it, I can't possibly imagine. It, it's just noise. You blow a lot of air into a tin horn and it comes out rat tat 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 Oh, it's awful. What's the matter? Don't you like music? Music? Of course I like music. But that isn't music. It's a... Well, of course I like music. Vi violins, that's what I like violins. So sweet and romance. There's no romance in the trumpet. Romance in the trumpet? Ah! What you mean is you don't like trumpet. I don't like trumpet. I said, get out of here, scram, famoose. Look, she got her hat on. Yeah, 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 I've got my hat on. Hat? Yeah, hat, chapeau, sombrero. Oh, sombrero. 
sombrero. Come on, let's get out of here. I got here. Oh, hello. Mm. Scared it. I wish you'd let me help. Puede que para algunos el nombre de Panamá sea un símbolo de placer. Eso hasta cierto punto, porque en otro sentido significa mucho más. Por lo tanto, imposible tolerar escándalos como los que ustedes han cometido. En consecuencia, este tribunal los condena a una multa de 50 pesos. He say you'll pay fine fifty dollars. Dad, maybe it's my boat. Paciente y tolerante, pero hasta la paciencia de un juez tiene sus límites. Oh, shut up. Ese tribunal los condena a 150 pesos de multa. He say you pay fine 150 dollars. Maybe you better keep quiet. Now can I help? No. You, you wouldn't settle for the 60, would you? Thanks, right, Woody. There's a hundred, hundred and ten. Ten. Hundred and twelve. That was the travel money. Hundred and twelve. Hundred and twenty-seven. Hundred and twenty-eight. Hundred and twenty-eight fifty. Hundred and twenty-eight fifty-two. Now? Yeah, now. No, no, the moose. No, the Nero. Well, now what? Well, first we'll dig up a hotel and well, what good will that do? I mean, I haven't any money, have I? And, and no clothes or anything. They wouldn't take me in, would they? I never thought of that. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. If I might make a suggestion, you're perfectly welcome to live with me. Huh? Oh, Skid lives there, too. Well, I suppose that makes it all right. Don't worry, I wouldn't let you stay there anyway. Well, then where will I stay? I'm sure you'd find it very comfortable. Skid and I can sleep in the parlor and you can have the bedroom. There's a key to the door and everything. If you feel that you need it. Well, I don't like it. Well, I don't like it either. Very nice. I lost my key about a month ago. Well, here's where we live. Just you and Skid? Oh, Skid just moved in last night. I've been living here alone for three months now. You mean you've done this all by yourself in three months? The bedroom's very nice, too. There's the kitchen. 
I think it needs a little tidying up, though. Well, if anything like this, it certainly will. Well, is something wrong? Uh, you and Skid bring the bed out. I'll make breakfast, and we'll clean this place up. Oh, let's get some sleep first. You can't sleep in this mess. Oh, well, we have. Oh, dear. This hasn't been moved since I first came here. she wants with a couple of goats. Get old. Tip your end up a little. What? Tip your end up a little. You don't need to yell at me. I'm right here, you know. How do you turn the gas on? There isn't any gas. Well, then how do you cook? You build a fire in the stove with wood. Yeah. Hey, look. We're getting no place fast with this thing. Say, I have an idea. Just sit down quietly and figure this thing out. There must be a simple answer to it somehow. I can tell you eat out a lot. And that certainly isn't good for you. No wonder Harry's sick. Well, that's just buy a lot of things to do. You know, staples and things and... Well, maybe I did the wrong thing. Skid, Skid, I think I did the wrong thing. Yes, Skid, I, I think it's the wrong thing. Well, I, uh, I well, never mind. I'll do it myself. Oh, Wait a minute. I've certainly put you in a lovely spot, haven't I? Well, with me, it's just temporary, you know, just till my boat comes through again. What are you going to do? Oh, don't worry about me. I can always go back in the army. Army. What do you want me to do? Go native? No, just take that junk out and burn it up. What are you saving beer caps for? Hey, there's a lottery ticket I almost won, huh? The army. Always the army. No ambition at all. Skid. Huh? You can do something with it. With what? It's a crime to hide a talent like you've got under an army blanket. You're the best trumpet player I ever heard. I thought you said you didn't like trumpet music. Well, I didn't, and I still don't, but I like it when you play it. I don't know what you do to it, something. Why don't you try making a living with it? You mean go to work? Yes. I hate to bring it up, but Skid can go to work over at Murphy. Oh, that's wonderful. Did she really offer you a job? Well, why don't no. you take it? Would you have to have your own trumpet? Oh, of course you couldn't get a job in an orchestra unless you had your own horn. Oh, but Skid's got a horn. Well, you don't have to tell the whole world about oh, it, do you? Oh, on, you might like it. You might like it better than the army. You couldn't tell till you try it. I can tell now.
away? Oh, no, not right away. Well, oh, what's the matter? I say, Skid, did you know you had a hen with you? Yeah, I know it. Well, where did you get that? Well, he was in a fight. Well, what difference does that make? Well, he got fouled. He got fouled. He didn't expect me to walk right away and leave a foul, 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 could you? Oh, no. He doesn't feel very good. He, he uh, well, anybody with any heart would have done the same. Hey, he's wounded. I better go get something. Yeah. Oh, he really has a nasty sketch. Oh, go get me a damn towel. Sure, you? sure. Oh, you poor silly little darling. You want to know his name? He's got a pretty name. It's Field Four Alaro. That means uh, Wing Triumph. Yeah, well, suppose we just call him Butch. Yeah. Hey, you're, you're not throwing me all, are you? Throwing what? Well, uh, for my betting on him. Betting on him? Yeah, you see, uh, he's a professional now, and, and uh, uh, well, uh, he was going swell until, until his knees kind of buckled under him, and then he, he lost, and I, I lost the money. What money? You didn't... Skid Johnson, where's your trumpet? Well, I, I pawned it. But, but I still got my mouthpiece. I can sort of keep my lip up on it, and, <laughs> you know... Claudian. Hey, that ought to do it. I just figured what's the use of working a whole week for what you can win in a couple of minutes. Nice figuring. I got just the right thing for him. What's that? Claudian. Claudian? You're not going to put Claudian on a chicken, Harry. It's the best thing for scratches. I always use it myself. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. This will fix him right up. Oh, oh, oh. Butch, come here. Butch, hey. Here, here. Now, say, now, go away, hey. Go away. Go away, hey. Of course, I'm not the type to tell you I am. Go away, Go away, Go away, Go away. Take this thing away. Come on, three up. Come on, Butch. Come on, Butch. That's gratitude, eh? Skid. Get him, will you? Now, don't get him excited. Don't get him excited. There, Butch. Gosh, Maggie, you don't know Murphy. I can't go in and ask for an advance when, when I haven't even got the job yet. You can't get the job without the trumpet, and you can't get the trumpet without the five dollars. Oh, but I'm too young to die. All right, you wait here, I'll get it. No, no, no. No girl has to run interference from me. Oh, well, listen, Skid, you know, sometimes it's easier to tell somebody else than it is yourself, isn't it? I mean, it'd be easier for you to tell somebody I'm good than you're good, wouldn't it? Oh, would it? You wait here, I'll be out in a minute. You'll be out quicker than that. But, Mrs. Murphy, I didn't ask for a job for myself. Oh, well, let it go then. But you couldn't work in a better place. And you're the type I like around here. You wouldn't have to do much. Sing a little, dance a little, and talk to the customers. I think you're making a big mistake, but let it go. I ain't begging you. But it's Skid that has to... Skid's got a talent for making more trouble than any ten guys in Panama. I heard what he'd done at the Tayara last night. They got a close for a week for repairs. He ain't gonna bust up my joint. Oh, that. Yeah. Back. Well, I, oh, I, I, I wish you'd been there last night. It was really beautiful. It must have been. There ain't a stick of furniture left in the place. Well, Skid feels awful about everything, you know. Young man just out of the army with responsibilities and everything. It's hard. Skid Johnson never had a responsibility in his life. Well, he's got me. Well, you can't be such a serious proposition. You're kind of new in Skid's life, ain't you? New? Well, I should say not. Why, Skid and I have known each other ever since since childhood. He sent for me to come down just as soon as he got out of the army. Oh, I wouldn't marry him as long as he was in the army. Would you? No. Oh, so you could see how he'd feel on his honeymoon with his wife working and him broke without a job. Mm, yeah. Well, and besides, we do a swell number together. Skid and I have always worked together. Well, not in the army, of course. But... Oh, don't you see? I can see one thing. Skid's got a lot more sense than I give him credit for. Hello. You remember me? Well, hello. You sure been in there long enough. What? For Pete's sake, how did you do it? Well, well, she just understood. You're crazy. She's really a wonderful woman, Skid. Murphy? Well, underneath that bark and cigar smoke, she's a woman, and all women are romantic. Murphy, romantic? The minute she found out we'd just been married, she went positively dewy-eyed. The minute she found out what? Kid, listen, don't be mad because I told her we were married. Married? Well, you care very much. She's got you a job, and she even said I could do something or other for a couple of weeks, and by that time my boat will be back, and I'll go away. Don't get sore. I'm not sore. Sore? 
Well, I saw it all. <laughs> You got a new blonde working for you. Yeah? Well, she ain't army rations, so relax. Chelsea, eh? Mm. What was on, senor? Cinco. I was in the for a good one. She was a new Mrs. Johnson I've been hearing so much about. I am. Really? Yes. Gee, Skid, I thought I knew you awfully well. I didn't think you were the marrying kind. But I still don't. Girl, I used to know. You used to know? Yeah, I used to know. Oh, I don't want to answer. But listen, unless you want us supposed to lose our jobs, you better introduce me as your wife. You know, we're supposed to be married. Yeah, but you're not my wife. I know, but I'm supposed to be. Nowadays, every dance the cat exercises your whole anatomy, too. Come on, come on. You're supposed to be working, you know. Yeah, I'm supposed to be a lot of things. While fever that rages, watch out, it's contagious. Panamania, White Hawk, Panamania, Gal, Rose, Pennsylvania, and Peru. I'll help you change your costume. Hester wants to meet you. Big coat hanger man from Cleveland. And you get 25% for all the champagne they order and only 10% for the scotch. Person will vanish in you. Then just wailing, you'll be revealing the vanish in you. Hey, Murphy, who is that girl? Anita Alvarez, why? Cute kid. May I present Miss Johnson? Glad to meet you, Miss Johnson. Have a scotch and soda. In the tropics? Didn't you know it was poison to drink hard liquor so near the equator? Oh, champagne's the only thing. You mean to say everybody in the tropics drinks champagne? She's quite right, Miss Musselwhite. Waiter. Spanish in you. Spanish in you'll be revealing the Spanish in you. Won't need your position, your role, and intuition tells you your condition. Panamania. They'd have to order a hundred grosser coat hangers or they wouldn't get any at all. Are you listening? Yes, you're listening. You'll be revealing the Spanish new, Spanish new old feed. Your position, your own intuition tells you your condition. Panamania, 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 Panamania. Maggie. Say, you shouldn't encourage those dumb guys like that. They're, they're liable to figure it wrong. Well, what possible difference could it make to you? No difference, no difference at all, but you've got to remember we're supposed to be married. Yes, but we're not. these things for Murphy. You know, you're longer on one side than the other. 
Yeah, he was born on the side of a hill. No, I think that's from stabbing my foot when I keep on the music. Go on, Skid, keep on playing. <laughs> Much at this time, allow me to introduce to you our newest convert of the divine art of trumpeting. Oh, shut up! You know, I about that forever. I told you when you played it, it, it thrilled me. <laughs> to the marrow of my bones, it chills me. Say, there's a lyric. The trumpet thrills me, to the marrow of my bones, it chills me. That's not bad. It's not good. Better than that school song I wrote, Fight On for Redlands, Conservatory of Music. Boy, I bet that was a hit. Yes, it was. Hey. Fight On for Redlands, Conservatory of Music. Here we took a break. Ra, 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 RCM. Hey, wait a minute, Harry, play that a little slower. Bother me in the least. Well, Skid, all you have to do is just wait your turn. You're wonderful. You're really wonderful. You look lovely, too, and your hair's coming down on that side. Harvey, I can't believe my eyes. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, Harvey, it's good to see you, too, Marguerite. Oh, you look fine. Oh, I've often wondered why you're always so happy. Oh, Harvey, you're just wonderful. Well, you look good, too. Oh, thanks. Oh, Marguerite, you're wonderful. Oh, Harvey, you're just 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 wonderful. Oh, I'm not kidding myself. I know you're not in love with me, or you'd have married me a long time ago. But, Harvey, you don't understand. Sure, I do. I always have. But I'm so in love with you that, well, just having you around, that's enough for me, Marguerite. Well, Harvey. Come I... on, Maggie. We haven't got much time. Well, oh, Skid, this is Harvey Howell. He's a very good friend of mine. Skid Jones. Oh, glad to know you. Glad to know you. Uh, we're on our way to get married. Married? Yeah, tonight. Maggie isn't taking any chances on our wedding until tomorrow. She knows the guy's got to tell the truth on Washington's birthday. 
Say, why don't you come along? Harry's going. We need a couple of witnesses. And, well, he's, he's a piano player. And, well, Maggie knows you. And the key is. No, no, I'd, I'd like to, Marguerite. Oh, that's well. Well, come on, come on, Maggie. Lo mismo en la pobreza que en la riqueza. Tanto en el dolor cuanto en la alegría. Hasta que la muerte le separe. Repeat after me, please. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. You are married now. <laughs> married? Felicidades, señor. Muchas felicidades. You're supposed to kiss the bride. We don't open till nine o'clock. The tree ain't ready yet. Yes, ma'am. And at nine o'clock, down with the whiskers. Yes, ma'am, but it sure is hot. Hot or cold, it's Christmas, so act like it. And you boys, hurry with those decorations. Leave me alone. Pedro? Si, senora. A little more sugar in this, and hurry. Then it is the line. Karen Gonzalez, come in here and throw up all this paper and you get a girl step on it. We've got to get this place open. Then it is the line. Kiss is not a place. Learn it night and day. Then it's nothing more than a game. Children play. I'm not that good. My heart never was taken, not been taken. But beware. My heart never was broken. If you break it, <laughs> I don't care. Heart. Yeah, that first one wasn't so good. Well, I know it. Second one wasn't so good either. Well, you don't have to rub it in. <laughs> Just like a woman. I don't know why you're so mean to me on Christmas Eve. Who's mean to you? You are. Uh, oh, no, honey. I was only kidding. Guys, you can sing it any way you want. Well, I know it's no good. Oh, it sounds fine. <laughs> have you got a handkerchief? No, you didn't do the wash last week. Oh, darling, I'm sorry. I'll do it in the morning. I'll help you. Here, yeah, I'll help too. Thanks, Harry. Oh, I just love Christmas, don't you? You know we ought to bring Butch over to see Santa Claus. Ah, Butch is too old for Santa Claus. Well, we haven't had him a year yet. Seems a lot longer than that, doesn't it? What? Oh, no, honey, I mean, it doesn't seem that long, does it? Well, it's just like a man. Thank you, Harry. Well, let me a coat. Now that we're all friends again, could we rehearse the introduction? <laughs> You know, that guy could play chopsticks and make it sound like number one on the hit parade. <laughs> yeah. He's brought more business in here than any ten acts I've had. Yeah. <laughs> I see she's still at the El Greco. I wonder they haven't caught up with her by now. Who? Alvarez. She says, Merry Christmas, and she feels so sorry for us down here. Well, she needn't. How do you like the new number? It's all right. <laughs> you know, you never get a swell head around Murphy, would you? You'd never get a swell head anyway. You're too smart. Skid belongs to the big time, Mr. Johnson. He belongs off Broadway, and that's where I want to put it. But will he listen to me? Well, certainly he'll listen to you. Well, certainly he'll not listen to me. You mean you offered Skid Johnson a job in New York and he turned it down? I got a spot where he could step right into it. And a honey. Well, well don't worry. He'll take it. Well, why would you want us to come? Well, now look, honey. Dames are a drug on the market. Skid, Skid's got something that's different. He's got something to set that town on his ears, see? Sure, sure, I see. Now, if you let him go on ahead and kind of get the feel of things, then he can send for you. In the meantime, you can hold on to the job here, and if Skid uh, should draw a blank up there, you'd have something to come back to. That makes sense, doesn't it? Sure, sure, that makes sense. 
It's too good to turn down. But I've got to talk to him. Harry, where's Kid? Well, he's, uh, he just, uh... Oh, thanks. Hey, Miguel. What do you have, Skid? He's oh, had. Two. Too many. Oh, but Maggie, this is Christmas. Well, last time was your birthday. You know, the time before that it was Butch's birthday. Pretty soon every day will be a holiday, and then where will we be? Fast closed. Honey, you have to take care of yourself in your condition. What's the matter with my condition? You don't know, but you're about to come aside. You'll fix it. Now, honey, you go over and thank the man and tell him you'll be very proud and happy to go to New York with him. Oh, no. Yeah, but you can send for me in no time at all. It's your chance. you got to take it. Look, Maggie, I've already told the guy I don't want to go to New York. I like it here. Gosh, we're doing all right. We have fun. You want to blow a trumpet on the cheap walkie talk all your life? Why not? Well, it doesn't mean anything for you to become a star. You know, go right to the top. All right, I go right to the top. What do I do when I get there? Oh, but honey, you'll be a sensation. You know, really a sensation. I'm a sensation here. Isn't that enough? No. Hey, Murphy. Maggie wants me to go to New York. I couldn't go if I wanted to, could I? Tell her. Why? What's stopping you? Well, you, you got a contract with me. Yeah? Well, listen, young man. My contracts ain't worth the paper they're written on. My lawyer sees to that. Good luck, kid. Thanks, Murphy. And if I got a spot for you, have I got a spot? The El Greco. You heard of the El Greco. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of the El Greco. All visitors ashore. Take these pills with you, Skid. I'd sure laugh at you, too, if I turned out to be a prize flop. Mr. Moore's supposed to be very good. I am a flop, I can always... I know. You can always go back in the army. All visitors are shower. I think I'd better get off now, Skid. I'm beginning to get sick. Well, so long, Harry. Bye. You better take the lemon. No, thank you. Gosh, Maggie, I don't know how to say goodbye. I've never said goodbye to you. Oh, we'll never say goodbye, so. I wish I didn't feel like making a big mistake. All the visitors are shore. Here's the bank, old kid. Oh, no, I can't take that. Well, oh, I don't need it. I don't want you to run it's short. You know, when you get right. down, they don't treat you right, then you can walk out. See, darling? All visitors are shore. Oh, I love you. Thank you very much. Bye, darling. Goodbye, Maggie. All visitors are shore. I wish I'd feel lost already without you. Oh, no, darling. Johnson's magic trumpet will fill the El Greco nightly. You know, we'll have to start a clipping book for him right away. 
He doesn't photograph badly at all. And listen, New York public completely fooled, get ready to sail in a week, left scared. What do you think of that? Not much. What's he waiting a week for? Oh, you have to pay back Jersey, doesn't he? He has to buy some new clothes. You wouldn't want him running around New York in ice cream pants, would you? I wouldn't want him running around New York at all. Maggie, when a car could follow himself. <gasps> Georgia. Gee, I won't have much time to get ready at all, will I? No. Don't you think it's pretty good to save enough money to send for me already? It's a miracle. Yeah. Oh, it's from Harvey. He's in New York. Mercy! Harvey seems scared and says he's a terrific success. Yeah, I knew he would be. on a monologue, ain't you? What would you do, Murphy? I suppose what you're going to do. Let me defer. It's 125, ain't it? You sure you want to go up there? Thanks. Cry for help. This town has more broke guys than there were in the army. <laughs> Now I can try to the Queen Mary and send for Maggie. Who's Maggie? Don't give me hundred, will you? See, that's wonderful, but don't you think that calls for a celebration? Like a party, yeah. Yeah. Is somebody going to meet you here, miss? What? Oh, yes, yes, no thank Good 
Is this your room or mine? It's mine. Oh, okay. oh come on in and have a nightcap. Come on, it'll do you good. Give me the Leland Hotel, please. Leland Hotel, does um, Miss Anita Alvarez live there? Will you please connect me with the room? This is Skid, the one-man army. Who goes there? I say, who goes there? Hello? because, well, now listen and don't laugh. Mary? Oh, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> Harry and me, can you imagine? Oh, give me my love. Yes, I will. Well, what's the matter? Are you crying or something? No, no, I'm laughing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have you seen Skid? Oh, Skid. Oh. oh, Skid and I are getting a divorce. Oh, I don't know. You know. It's gone a long time, and that's the way it goes, I guess. Oh. Well, you finally got some sense, did you? <laughs> Is Mr. Harvey Howell still registered there? I'd like to speak to him, please. My wife? That's what she said. She called up three times. No, no. My wife in Panama. Letter from her. Probably some girl pulling a gag. Yeah. night and the night before and all day. That's all he's been doing, reading that letter. For a week now he's been reading that letter. I say a week's too long to read any letter. It's my letter, isn't it? 
Guess the guy can read his own letters if he wants to. All right, all right. But the boys that run that place you think you're working are plenty sore. If you don't show up tonight, you're fired. Hey, are you listening to me? You read that a dozen times, too, and it says she's sailing on the Normandy tomorrow. No matter how many times you read it, it'll say the same thing. She's sailing on the Normandy tomorrow. This would be a sap to go up and say goodbye to her. Better let things ride the way they are, I guess. Better let her alone. Okay, Harvey couldn't have any kick if I just went up and said goodbye to her. I haven't met his wife yet. All I want to do is go up and say goodbye and have a couple of drinks and say goodbye. Come on. Hey, well, what do you want me for? Come on. Bring Tony with you. Oh. Why the French divorce? Aren't our divorce is good enough for you? Well, Harvey's attorney arranged it that way. Have you told the kid? I wrote him. How'd he take it? I haven't heard from him. Skid never was much of a hand for writing letters. He never was much of a hand at anything. He doesn't play a bad trumpet. How long did these French divorces take? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it'd be kind of fun in Paris. I've never been there before. I was there once with my first husband. Hey, Maggie! Hey, that's good. Well, what do I do now? Let him wrap, you're not in. Well, there's no sense in being unfriendly. Now, you just keep on picking him up and dusting him off every time he falls down, and the first thing you know, you get Harvey sore. I know, but he might be in trouble or something. Maggie! How's that for an address? Fine. How are you, kid? You're looking swell. Oh, say, this is Georgie Herman, my agent. You remember him. Hello, Miss Johnson. Glad to see you. And uh, this is Tony Morelli. I keep him around just for laughs. Laugh, Tony. <laughs> he killed me. <laughs> That's enough, Tony. Plenty. Oh, <laughs> the same old Ella. How are you, Ella? Glad to see you. How are you, Harry? Glad to see you, Skid. Hey, this looks like old home week in Panama, doesn't it? Harry, you're looking awful well. Is anything wrong? Ella and I got married. No. <laughs> well, I guess the guy that said there was one born every minute was right, huh, Tony? <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> Very. Don't be bitter, Ella. Shall I serve them, sir? No, thanks. I'm an old bartender from way back. Thank you, sir. Don't work your eyes on it. Maybe one of these days you'll be in the door like I am. Thank you, sir. Say, hey, it's a good thing I brought up these drinks. We, we got some celebrating to do. There's yours, gorgeous. No, thanks. Oh, come on, come on. This is kid's going away party for Maggie. <laughs> By the way, I... Uh, got your valentine. Why didn't you come up alone? Oh, I couldn't shake these guys. They've been with me since last night. Last night? I haven't looked a bed in the face for a week. King of the nightclubs, huh? Well, I gotta let the people see me, don't I? Might you get the black eye? Want my knee taken bows. Well, who's knee? You ought to see the other fellow, Mrs. Jump. Yeah, that's what I thought. So well, you quit riding me. I'm doing all right, ain't I? Certainly are. You two weeks' notice is written on every bottle of scotch in town. Hey, lay off. You got a new guy to worry about now. You stepping off pretty soon? Well, I've got to get a divorce first, don't I? Yeah, that's right. So you've been crying? I have not. Don't kid me, I've seen you cry too often. If that's for me, don't put too much water in it. Okay, sweetheart, how's this for you? You'll have to play for yours, Professor. Well, it won't be the first time. You're telling me? Come on, play like fast and forty. So you used to be a professor, eh? Right on for dear old Redland's Conservatory of Music. Remember that, Maggie? Yes, I remember. What's the matter, kid? Nothing. I was just thinking we had fun riding it, that was all. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Boy, we used to allow him in Panama with that number, didn't we, Georgie? Hey! Mm. Say, remember when I pawned my trumpet, you had to buy that. Say, did we ever pay that five bucks back to Murphy? Yes, I paid. Murphy, he's who? Oh, she ran the joint in Panama where we used to work. She, she's Butch's mother now. Butch is our chicken. I say, you'd have died. That chicken tried to murder Harry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. A chicken tried to kill you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and he got attacked by a bed one, too. Oh, gee, you look silly. You see, I got the house on fire, and you know what these two did? They got the bed stuck in the door, and they went to sleep. <laughs> she wanted goats. I never could figure that out. Goats? And then he goats in the house. <laughs> yeah. Hey, boy, was that a night? Maggie took off her hat, see, when you yeah, take off your hat and tell about... Yeah, jail, and you know, you know, he had to make a noise like a boat together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to make a noise like a boat Well, the judge was Spanish, see, and she wanted to catch a boat, and I forgot the word for a boat, so I was trying to show him like this. Harry, 
a party, Maggie? No, no, come in, Harvey. Hello, Mr. Howell. Uh, hello, Ella. How are you, Howell? Hello, kid. Boys, this is Mr. Howell. He's an old cow hand from way out west. How are you, Mr. Howell? Glad to meet you. Any pal of skids is a pal of mine. <laughs> Harvey, you know Harry. Uh, certainly. We were witnesses at Skid's wedding, weren't we? Yeah, that's right. That was some wedding. We didn't even know what the guy was talking about. Maybe we weren't even married. Maybe you two are going to a lot of trouble for nothing. That'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? Well, Harvey, here's a drink for you. Thanks. Well, there's no sense in us standing around like this, is there? I know, no. I don't want to spoil anything for you. It sounded very gay in here to me when I came in. Why don't you go on with the music? Why, surely, Mr. Howell. Play, Harry. Yeah, play something. Yeah, come on, play something, Harry. Come on, Harry, play the wedding march. Play it fast and hot. This is a hot wedding. Come on, Harry, play it. Here comes the bride! Come on, sing it! Darling, baby! Kid, I think you'd better go now. All right, all right, Mr. Hall, I'm going. I'm going. Go, oh, hurry, I'm going. So long, Maggie. Kid. Kid, we've looked every place for you. Do you know what time it is? It's nearly time for you to go on. Get away from me. Skid, snap out of it, will you? Get away from me. Skid, you've got to listen to me. If you don't show up, you'll get fired. You heard what I said. Skid. I said get away from me. Before. I got the nice people here. I can have drunk, you know that. Hey, wait a minute. Now, this is the last time, huh? Now, take care of yourself. Thanks. Oh, you remember him? That's the Skid Johnson. Sure. You certainly on the skids are now. The skids are the skids. <laughs> if you hear that, then you got it sent to you, man. Oh, hello. How are you, Professor? <laughs> uh, booking agent told me I might find Skid Johnson here. Well, he was here about three minutes ago, but he went out. Oh, you, you wouldn't have any idea where he went? Well, I have no idea. No, no, thank you. I used to get my wife's nanny. She couldn't take it. I used to say it just to tease her. Say what? Well, honey, I can ask it back in the army. But you can't. You know, I never thought I'd... What did you say? We can't use you. You're all shot. Better put your clothes on, son. 
You're pretty shaky. Hey, watch it. Hey, Skid. Hello, oh, Harry. Skid, I've been looking all over town for you. Hey, you're looking fine. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. Skid, I've got a proposition. Oh, thanks. i got to see you. Oh, again. I know, but first got a proposition. Come on, get in with me, Skid. got a mighty sweet little swing band there on me. We're playing in towns in Long Island, New Jersey. We're in Long Island tonight. That's where you and I are going now. Oh, you can't get out here, Skid. We're on the bridge. We're crossing the river. I had a last minute hunch come in town and look for you. So the band's giving a radio audition tonight. I thought maybe you could jump in and help us out. Oh, sure you can, Skid. Uh, you must be going nuts. Oh, when you think I can get a band like yours by through to a sponsor? You know what this chance means to you, Nella? Well, you said a name. I meant a name somebody remembers. Oh, I remembered it. I work my head off for a radio spot. I get a big sponsor all steamed up. I get it all set to pipe the band through to New York. And then what do I hear? Well, uh... Johnson's cockeyed all the time. Well, you said that before. Now, listen. I'm putting that program through tonight, hot or cold. Do we have to go through with it? Sure, we'll have to go ahead with it. It's too late to call it off now. It's your funeral, not mine. I can go with some other band. I don't want Mrs. Skid Johnson stopping. And move, I gotta get in touch with her before she gets out of town. You gotta help me, Mrs. Johnson. You could always do anything with Skid, and this is his last chance. Oh, Skid ain't a bad guy, Mrs. Johnson. I sort of figured maybe he just rolled You figured it wrong. Sure. Well, you can't rule me out for trying. Let's give it. Gonna be in town long? No, I'm flying to the coast tonight. I'm gonna be married as soon as I get there. Good for you. I guess just, well, just to forget all about Skid. I guess he's just no good. Seems kind of too bad, though. The kid's got a lot of talent. Well, but then if he goes on his face, it ain't your funeral, is it? Well, goodbye, Miss Johnson. Good luck and a lot of happiness. Thanks. until 10 o'clock. He's out like a light. Come on, let's get some stuff. Maggie! Oh, hello, Ella. Well, how did you get here? No, don't tell me. I know, and I'll wring his neck. Harry, you had no... No, business. no, no, Georgie told me. Oh, where is he, Ella? You remember those emergencies I told you about? Mm -hmm.
I'm not ashamed of me, are you, Maggie? No, I'm scared. You're not going to ride me, are you? I'm not going to ride you. <laughs> you know something? I can't get back in the army. Well, you don't have to now. Oh, you're going to be a big hit tonight. Only you got to put yourself together, Skid. Look, look, you know, they're going to leave you listening in in New York at 10 o'clock. I don't think I can make it. Oh, sure you can make it. You've got to, Skid. Why, without you, Ella and Harry, they're sunken. You know, they've been good friends of ours. You can't walk out on them now. I'm all shot. Oh, you can come out of it. You think I can? Oh, I know, son. Huh? Yeah, I did think I was pretty good, didn't you? Are you not? It's good. It's good. Oh, gee, Oh, scared. Oh, you'll be all right, Susan. You'll be all right. You gotta be all right, Susan. <laughs> Good evening, friends. We're broadcasting from the Harmony Dance Hall, the brightest night spot outside the city of New York. There it is now. We have a surprise for you tonight, friends. Of course, you all remember Skip Johnson and his magic trumpet. Oh, yeah. Great. They're back together again, folks. They're back together again right here. And Skip's going to play for you most any minute now. He's doing a grand comeback. He's climbing right back up on top of the heap again. Better than ever. Come on, let's give Skid a hand. <laughs> That's probably somebody clowning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Forever. Oh, it's long. 